Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's been a while. Haven't done anything with the car other than get it to the point that it's at uh, right now. So last time you saw was all the damage from the track day. Clutch was destroyed. Transmission was destroyed. Still battling misfires. So the game plan was drop the motor, drop the trans, put a new clutch in, rewire the uh, coil pack and injector harnesses, and uh, hope that that trans was a fluke because of the clutch issue, and hope that I don't need a new trans. So as the car sits right now, it's on jack stands because when I put everything back together, I went for a quick test drive. Fifth gear is no longer existent. It just sort of revs to the sky. Um, if I try my hardest, it will go into fifth and um, that's it. It'll go in for a little bit. If I come back out of it, go try it back in, it revs to the sky. Something's definitely terribly wrong with it. What I'm doing right now is gonna be dropping the trans. I'm not gonna pull the motor this time. I think uh, with, with the help of my, uh, my buddy Jason over there, I think uh, two people can handle it. I found another six speed. Um, I kind of wanted to go to a five speed, but there is too much stuff I needed to do. Um, get a new drive shaft, get a new clutch. And when I just bought this brand new clutch. So uh, we are going to drop this trans and put in the, uh, the newly acquired six speed I have and hope that it, uh, it holds up this time. So I'm sure there's plenty Plenty of videos out there on how to do this, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna try to keep the headers in um, and uh, go from there. But with two people, I think we should get this done in just a couple of hours. And I have a fancy uh, motive brake bleeder that Jason's let me borrow to uh, bleed the brakes and get that all sorted. And hopefully I can uh, drive it today and then get an exhaust done hopefully next week. So the trans is out. That was not as uh, difficult as I thought it was gonna be. Definitely needed two people though, so that helped out tremendously. You can really see how much older the uh, the new one is versus the uh, old one. Old one looks really clean. I may just go uh, decrease this thing right now before I put it in. I'm gonna actually take off the inspection plate and look inside and stuff. And yeah, this trans is uh, out and not usable. I still may put it up for sale, maybe like 200 bucks for someone to come grab it if they want to use it for parts or something. So I'm going to start decreasing that one. Figured with the trans off, I'll show you guys the, uh, the clutch. It's just a XTD stage three with one of their light and flywheels. All I was under here is I, uh, I changed the starter too. Um, I've had some problems with uh, starting in a uh, blue uh, starter fuses. A lot of people said it was a solenoid and it's obviously not serviceable. So uh, Jason had a, an extra starter, so he gave it to me. I also um, smushed the, uh, uh, the small connector, the little spade connector. I think that's a ground. I smushed it to get a little bit better contact. I don't know if that was part of my problem because that wire would come out effortlessly. So yeah, everything's looking uh, pretty clean in under here. If anyone wanted a view of the uh, EGR block off kind of in the car, maybe all the coolant hoses back here, you can see that's why I replaced the, uh, the Mishimoto one right, uh, right there because doing this on the car would have been a nightmare. But uh, we're going to go to Home Depot right now and I'm going to get aluminum tape so I can finish this off. This is the new heat shielding that I got from DEI. 
Actually, no, this is a DI. I got it from uh, Amazon. I'll link it. It was actually pretty cheap and they gave me a lot. So I have a lot more left. I may do around here too, just to help with some of the heat and kind of finish off down here. But I wanted to get one of the bigger pieces done, but I need some aluminum tape to uh, clean up the edges. So we're gonna go to Home Depot. So here's all the heat shielding on and uh, aluminum foil tape. All the edges are all clean and have it all the way up to the shifter so it can help with the, the heat. So uh, new starter is obviously in so we're gonna put the other trans back in. So trans is in, everything's in. Uh, I was able to throw it into fifth and it felt good. It felt, uh, wasn't a grinding or anything like that. Together, exhaust is like halfway on. I need to uh, get the back half of it, basically where the uh, diff is. I need to get the uh, rest of it uh, welded up. Kind of tempted to go tomorrow. If there's a shop open, that'd be awesome. I'm currently bleeding the brakes. I'm using uh, Jason's motive bleeder it actually works really well i was uh, very surprised i actually have one on the way it just wasn't here in time so we're going to continue bleeding the brakes on this and uh i'll be back shortly well i just drove it around the block real quick go fine I, I, I don't know i kind of hear a misfire still i don't know what it is but i took it up to like high rpm and it sounded fine but I still think it's that aftermarket coil on plug that I bought is not good. So I have another uh, two like high mileage um, OEM ones coming in. So that should be cool. I had to take a couple photos because the sun's out or it's a sunset right now. But uh, this uh, fool right here helped me out tremendously today. Uh, he manhandled that trans like no one's business. It was actually really not the bad. I mean, you've done your MSM. I would NA, never NA. do my MSM again. I'll yeah. only do these. Yeah, the it's NC simple. NCs are so easy to work on for some reason. I don't know what it is. They're just they break, but they're easy easy to fix. Especially like there's a lot of room around the trans, so you can kind of get your hand up and push it up and you get your impact in there. Yeah, super oh simple. yeah, we, yeah. It was it was it was cake. Hopefully, it comes across on the on the time lapse how easy it was. Yeah. It we were honestly dicking around and it, it, yeah. we were if we, we could have probably had this yeah. done. Like 40 two hours, two hours, maybe yeah. eight max three. We were dicking around and I wanted to do the little heat shield on the bottom and had to go to Home Depot. So it, it was it was simple, man. It was it was cake. And spent about I don't know 35 minutes bleeding the brakes with that motive bleeder and clutch feels good. Brakes are a little spongy, but um, it might have to do with my pads, they're not like really high end, you know, race pads, they're just Hawk HP pluses, so which aren't the best already. So but um, yeah, I'm gonna link uh, Jason's Instagram because he's doing kind of the same thing I am. It's an 06, but it started off as an automatic uh, with a 2.0. That 2.0 is gone now. He's going crazy with it. He's doing kind of an engine bay cleaning Way and um, six-speed swap, everything. LSD. It's it's gonna be a clean build with 2.5 with cams. So five cams, six-speed, weighty diff. Oh, thank you, Alex Todd. Yeah. So. Yeah, if you guys liked the video, leave a uh, thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Dude, is that a Supra? 